500 grams chicken, 1 cup chopped onion, 1 third cup chopped tomato, 60 ml mustard oil, 1 fourth cup dried red chili paste, 1 tablespoon garlic paste, 1 tablespoon ginger paste, half tablespoon salt, half teaspoon sugar. Fried onion to a little golden brown. We keep the gas on high. Keep stirring so all the onions get fried at the same time. Otherwise, some can be burned and some can be translucent and some can be over fried. So, you need to mix it the oil properly. And wait for the onion to release water and get dried and hold it down. Now the onion has changed color and it is dry and golden, golden brown. So I have put the gas on the bowl. Now I'm going to add the chicken. The chicken should be dry. So after you wash it, you keep it on a strainer so it releases the water. Extra water should be gone. Now mix the chicken and fry. The heat of the gas should be from high to medium. The chicken has started changing color, it has become uh, white from pink. Now it will start releasing water. So we will wait for the chicken to release all the water and we will keep on frying the chicken. This has changed color. Now the chicken has released water, you can see it is dry, releasing the oil as well, 
this. Deep fry. On the skin of the chicken, you should be able to see a little brownish layer. Light. That should be there, so I'll keep on frying. Now I'll keep the flame on low, otherwise it will burn the chicken. So there is a little brownish tint on the uh, skin of the chicken. See? That is properly fried now. Now I will add the ginger paste. Garlic paste. And mix it. This time the flame should be medium. Medium to low between medium to low. Once it is mixed, now I'm going to add the salt. paste you can add green chili with the along with the dry red chili if you wish to do so now I'll mix this We'll keep on frying the chicken until the raw smell of all the spices are gone. So keep the flame between medium to low and keep frying. In most Indian or traditional cooking, uh, we add turmeric in the dish. But in this one, I'm not adding turmeric because turmeric has a different taste and color to it. And the texture of this dish should be a little different, so that is why I did not add on it. Darjeeling is the uh, hill station of West Bengal, which is uh, located at the north of the map of West Bengal. And uh, it was known as the uh, summer capital for Britishers. In the British era, they used to go at the summer time because it was it used to be very hot uh, during the summer time. So this is a very signature dish of uh, Darjeeling. The local people still cook it and uh, they eat it with rice or chapati. If so, you wish to do so, you can have it with. Uh, you can serve the chicken with chapati or rice or pulao however you like it so because it is very chilly in Darjeeling even during the summer so that is the reason they cook it uh, with like more oil and uh, it is more on the um, spicy side it's very hot because it is very cold out there so uh, you know looking at the ice cap mountain when you eat this hot on your platter it's really an experience and uh, if you enjoy the dish locally with local people 
that has different essence to it. So do try this at home. The juice of the chicken is almost gone and the spices are also fried. Now I'm going to add the sugar because this sugar will caramelize the entire dish. This will add and enhance the entire uh, flavor of the dish. So you can understand each of the spice separately. I'm going to fry it now and mix the sugar so it doesn't stick to the bottom. If it is too sticky on your wok, you can add a little water if you want to. Add a little water because this is not a curry dish, this is a fried dish, so don't add too much of water. You can just add half cup of water in this. The sides of the yolk, so you know the spices does not get wasted and it gets mixed up in the chicken. I used a jug, but uh, please do not use a jug. It was not full. I didn't have a cup handy, so that is the reason I used the jug. But the quantity of the water was half cup. this process the chicken will be cooked and the spices will get mixed everything will go hand in hand keep the flame between uh, medium to low let's wait for the chicken to be cooked you can cover the wok at this point of time and keep it uh, completely on low in case if you cover I prefer not to cover uh, while cooking Now the spices are all cooked. You can see the water that I added earlier is not there because it has evaporated and helped the chicken to cook. And the spices are almost uh, releasing their flavor. The raw smell is almost gone. At this point, I'm going to add the tomatoes, the chopped tomatoes. Again the same process, mix it properly. <laughs> and that's it. Tomatoes should be cooked automatically. Keep the heat on low flame and let's wait for the tomato skin to get mushy. You can see the tomatoes are almost mushy, they're soft, so they almost disappeared. And I cannot explain how tasty and flavorful the chicken is, uh, the fragrance that is coming out of the chicken, it's full of flavors. I did not add any dry spices or any extra spices, just ginger, garlic, tomato and onion. Now at this point I'm going to add one cup of water because we'll need a little gravy. And that's it. Mix the water properly. I can scrape the side of the wok. So you don't miss on any of the spices.
फ्लेम बिटवीन मीडियम टू लो and we'll come back after 5 to 7 minutes this one looks like it is almost done this is the right amount of gravy that we need we don't want it runny we don't want it too much dry so this is correct and the chicken is also properly cooked you can see soft and well cooked so that's it